Today we're going to talk about the process for changing the drive belt on the BMW N62 8-cylinder model. This is a 545, but you'll also find that engine on other 8-cylinders. So to get started, we're going to do several things throughout this process. We're going to first remove the engine cover. We're going to, uh, just to make extra room, we're going to remove the uh, air filter housing and the tube that plugs into the uh, intake. Then we're going to remove the front engine plate which is located here. There's about 10 star bit screws that hold this plate in the position and we're going to reposition this plate to get it out of the way once we, we remove the, uh, the plastic engine cover. The uh, plastic engine cover has four star bit screws, which are the same size as the uh, screws you'll find in the uh, plate, I believe. Okay? So we're going to release the tabs on the filter housing. One, two. There's one here in the corner, one here, and one here. We're going to lift the uh, filter housing. Then we're going to use a screwdriver to disconnect the filter housing from the intake uh, area and remove the front engine plate. So to remove the engine cover, I'm going to use a socket wrench with a short extension or medium uh, length extension and a T30 star bit socket and remove the four star bit screws here. Then I'm going to use the same socket I believe to get the uh, 10 star bit screws that hold the plate in position. Alright. So after removing the uh, engine cover, you'll see the bracket that holds the intake tube onto the manifold. You'll remove that with a uh, either a socket or a flat head screwdriver. Um, so it's an adjustable uh, uh, bracket that you'll have to t loosen to release the uh, tube. Now before removing the uh, housing and repositioning the housing, we're not going to disconnect the housing from the tube. We're going to keep that in one piece. But before removing it, we're going to disconnect the mass airflow sensor plug that plugs right here into the, uh, 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 it's actually a uh, tube that's mounted between the housing on your left and your uh, filter housing on your right. And this is an electrical connector that connects to the mass airflow sensor. So we're going to disconnect that first and put it to the side. Now you can see that after removing the engine cover in order to get to the uh, filter housing and intake tube, we have much more room to work with in terms of accessing the belt. Okay. Now you could remove this plate but I think I have enough room, um, so I'm not going to bother removing the plate in this case. Next, I'm going to use a long breaker bar with a T55 star bit socket. And I'm going to place the socket into the, uh, re the release uh, tab for the uh, belt tensioner, which is located just below 
the belt here. Now there's an area in that tensioner where the uh, star bit fits and you turn the tensioner clockwise in order to release the tension from the belt. At that point the belt will slip off and you'll able to uh, pull it off. Now before removing the belt I recommend that you uh, draw a schematic of the direction um, and position of the belt. If you don't have one available, uh, you can find one on the internet uh, and be sure that uh, you have the right wrapping sequence. These belts aren't difficult to figure out, um, but you may want to consider uh, drawing a diagram so that you'll know exactly uh, how the belt wraps around the various tensioners and uh, and sprockets.